Hi, Theodore Gosh is here with BotGuru.net. It's B-O-T-G-U-R-U.net. I have here a premium Google suggestion scraper. And uh, what this here will do is automatically go through Google and get all the suggested keywords for you uh, from a compiled list of keywords that you want to look up and gather even more keywords for those words. So let me go through a little bit of detail here. When you first get the product, you're going to get a folder that has these three items in it. You won't need to touch Alphabet. When you open up Keywords, here's where you're going to list your keywords. For instance, we'll use SEO. Go ahead, close and save that. You're going to double click Premium Google Suggestion Scraper and this window will pop up. When you open this up, click Browse and we're going to type in a file to save it to. Hit save. Make sure you add the .txt. Uh, delay, I like to use about uh, two to three seconds is a good, uh, good use. And right here you have the different options. Uh, the ABC space and then keyword ABC and then the keyword no spacing, keyword space ABCs, keyword and space ABC's no spacing. What those do, for instance, if you have SEO and then hit A or B, that's this one right here, space and then the uh, ABC's. Without the space, you end up with things like this. Now, the ABC and then keyword, ABC spacing and keyword, these are going to bring up different things that you're going to manually have to go through and it might pick up things like ASEO host, ASEO, um, ASEO Procom, but it's going to give you a lot of things like this right here that uh, are not going to be of any use to you for your keywords, but it's there anyways in case you want to use it. Uh, same thing for without the spacing this is going to bring up a lot of different things as well. It will bring up SEO hosting, but then it brings up all these other things that you may not need. So you can use it for uh, whatever you like. Um, and then the honeypot. What the honeypot is, for instance, if we type SEO space E, you see the different keywords here. But if we typed SEO, went back to the beginning, typed an E, you come up with a lot of these other ones. Easy SEO, e-commerce SEO, Eric SEO, eBay SEO, Enterprise SEO a lot of things that uh, you would not normally come across um, in a suggestion scraper. So let's go ahead and use the just the regular honeypot one for this instance and uh, we'll go ahead and save it to our test file give it a run here. You'll see it puts in the keyword auto moves to the beginning, puts in the letter, goes on to the next letter. It's going to scrape every one of these keywords down at the bottom, going through A through Z, 0 through 9, and uh, save it to a list for you that you chose up here in your save suggested file. Once you have this compiled list, you could actually rerun that list as a list of keywords through here if you want to try and find any other uh, tagging keywords that you want to use within your list. Um, this list will process as many keywords as you have. It will all run on autopilot. You could simply leave this screen, um, you know, either in another window running, let it run in the background. You can minimize and let it run. Um, it will automatically run for you uh, seamlessly. Um, as you see, we're coming near an end here. We're at Z, and it'll go 0 through 9. And as soon as it hits 9, the next screen that it'll end up showing is a complete list of keywords that it has found after searching through all of these, which will also be saved inside your folder that you chose to save your keywords to. Let's see here, it's almost completed. And here you see it has all the keywords that it went ahead and scraped for you. And going back, you'll see that it also saved all of the keywords to the file that you chose inside the program. So you could go ahead and use these as you wish. Um, showing you another way uh, besides these, like for instance, this one here has uh, 
Uh, let's see here. Easy SEO. Okay. Well, that was found using the honeypot. Okay. Now, if we didn't use honeypot, and we use just the regular keyword space and then letters to go ahead and work every two seconds, click run. You'll see it'll go ahead and start running itself, adding the different uh, letters for the next words and the phrases or keywords. And this way it can run through just like it did in the honeypot, except you'll see that you're not going to come up with the same keywords. This is going to be a different list. So these are lists that you can combine to make one master list of keywords for use on whatever projects you like. Um, again, like I said, you can combine these lists. You can rerun your keywords through here after you compile them. Um, for instance, uh, you know, Easy SEO. Well, it, it could come up that uh, when Easy SEO is plugged in as a keyword and then you add another letter to the beginning or the end, um, you may come up with even more keywords. So the possibilities are absolutely endless with this program and you will literally get thousands uh, upon thousands of keywords that you can use within all of your projects. Let's see here, this here is almost done running through. As you see, it only takes a couple of minutes. And uh, it'll go ahead and display the list for you here in one second. Here you are. Now, as you see, it doesn't have easy SEO in here anywhere. And it all starts off with SEO. It doesn't say SEO easy. Let's get up here to the ease. And you can see from here to here it doesn't have SEO easy. Even if you were to use uh, the letters before the keyword, okay, like this here, you still would not come up with easy SEO. Let's go back to Google just so you could see it, for instance, e SEO. You see there's no easy SEO in here. However, with the honeypot, SEO, move the cursor to the beginning, hit E, you've got all these other extra SEO keywords that you could be using. So it just goes to show how powerful this program is. And if you're really interested um, or would like more details, feel free to email us at admin at botguru.net. Thank you.